Muscle Gerbil plays Cuphead. Episode 10. Roll the dice. Pay the price. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil plays Cuphead. Last time, we defeated the remaining debtors of Inkwell Isle 3. We had a day at the theater where we took down the main starlet. So we're the best actor in town now. We took down a crazy Medusa mermaid sea creature. Turned us to stone, but we managed to escape. And then we rode the rails with the Phantom Express. Thus allowing us access to the other side of the tracks. The wrong side of the tracks. Now it's time to finish what we started at the casino in Inkwell Hell. If you've been watching the series, just a quick reminder that I have beaten these bosses. I have beaten the game before, so these videos may be more walkthrough style. Uh, there were some recording issues, so I do know what to expect. Check our loadout before we go in. We've got charge shot, spread shot, super art one, and the smoke bomb. Smoke bomb is going to be key for this boss. King dice, and all bets are off. Take him down. Hopefully, this boss is tough. So King Dice is more of a boss gauntlet. As you can see behind us, we're going to roll the dice and land on a space. And then we're going to fight a boss. If it's a red space, green spaces are safe, of course. And we just want to reach the end so we can take down King Dice. My strategy is just to get as many hit points as I can. Because everything that has a little heart, like right there, will give you an extra hit point before you start the boss battle. And it does keep throughout the boss. All right, so we're going to want to roll a three. Just got to parry the die, and it'll land on, you know, a number, and that's where you go. So it goes one, three, two, one, three, two when it spins this direction. Oh, I lost, I lost the rhythm. I thought I had it. Ah! Riveting, riveting gameplay, I know. Oop. Oop. Nope, nope. I'm just I'm just faking faking everybody out. There we go. I like to stand right in the middle of it and do a very quick parry so that it stops on the number I want. Alright, so we got a cigar. Big cigar. This is one of the easier mini bosses. Just jump left to right. You know when he moves. And avoid his, like, Medusa head style flames. With Smoke Bomb, you don't even have to worry about dodging from platform to platform. Let's see if we can get a three cycle here. Got it. Then King Dice is gonna stomp him out for us. No more secondhand smoke. Alright, as you can see, we're now up to four hit points. That's what we needed. Try and get a one so we can land on the safe spot. When it spins the other direction, it goes one, two, three instead of one, three, two. I always prefer it to go this direction. The other one just trip just trips me up. Just because your brain kind of malfunction my brain kind of malfunctions a little bit when the numbers aren't going in order. So we're on the track. Day at the track. Gonna put some bets down. With the, uh, ghost horse bookie. Ow, I took an unnecessary damage there. You don't have to worry too much about the racers on the bottom, except for the ones that have ghosts. Because they're going to shoot up and try and do damage to you. But seeing as how it's a... It's a plain boss, parrying is easy. gonna keep doing damage. He should be done pretty soon. There we go. Is it a bookie when you're at the track, or 
just a just a bet taker. But that's what a bookie is. I don't know. I've never really been to the track. I've been to OTB before, but I've never been to an actual track. All right, you can get a one here and get safe. Get on the safe spot. All right, now we need a three so we can go into King Dice with as many hit points as possible. King Dice is not to be trifled with when you reach the end. Whoop. Got a little, little over-eager there. All right, let's see what mini-boss we have coming up. Ah, the monkey. So it's like a memory game combined with the crane game. He's going to shoot out musical notes. Just got to avoid him. Do enough damage for him to go prone again. And then just keep playing the memory game. He's going to get a little bit faster when you miss. Oh, no, no, no. This is not good. There we go. I think him getting faster only applies to when the cards are up. And I think he's kind of glitching out because he wasn't moving. If he can keep glitching out, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, he's, he's completely glitched. I can still do damage to him. That's weird. Did he get fixed? I have no idea how I caused that glitch. That was very weird. Now he's not glitched anymore. But this should be the last cycle. Yeah. Hmm, that was an odd boss fight. I have no idea how I caused that glitch. I'll look back through the footage and see what I did. Alright. We gotta land on three, and then we'll be fighting King Dice himself. Alright. He's gonna... He's gonna make these cards come out, and you gotta parry them, which I am terrible at. I have no idea how... Nope, and I ran into his fist. We're gonna hit him with our super move. Just gotta keep doing damage. No, I, I took a lot of damage right there. I have no idea how that even happened. No! Oh, he was almost dead. So that's the last phase. The last phase is... A little tough. You have to be really on point with parrying, which I am not. And the board does change where the extra health comes from. Each cycle you go through. Alright, first square boss is a rocks glass, a martini glass, and, uh, you know, just a fifth. I'm gonna guess it's... I don't know, they're all brown liquor, so that martini might be a Manhattan. No, but you wouldn't put an olive in a man in a Manhattan. So I don't know, it's a weird looking martini. It's very discolored. Because it's not a dirty martini, because it would be green. Whew! Alright, we took a hit, so... You know, no harm, no foul on that boss. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too close there. Alright, we're safe. I'm gonna roll a two. If we roll a two, we'll get some extra health. Alright, there we go. See what mini boss we got coming up. Cause there's a bunch of different ones. A great slam and then stop. Ah, magician rabbit. This one is not too bad as long as you know how to parry. And then with the smoke bomb, you can just dodge through the skulls.
He shouldn't have much left. Ooh, that, that was close. That was close, but I felt like my parry timing was off. Alright, we got a couple more dice rolls, so we get back to King Dice. Or King Die. Alright, we're, we're safe for now. Ooh, that was that was really close. All right, well, if we have five hit points at the moment, I hope that's enough to get to get me through King Die, and we're back to the monkey. I forgot to look at the background before this to see where everything was. Ooh, way too close. I think I already did that exact same sequence, didn't I? Wow, I am, I am terrible at the memory game. There we go. Maybe we can glitch him out again. That'd be nice. No, that's the inkwell. Darn it. All right, inkwell's right next to each other. And you want to have him on the right side of the screen when you flip the card over, just so you have more more time to do damage. Have I done that one yet? No, I hadn't done that one yet. Okay. Just gonna do a little evading. That one's down here. Yes, I got it. Not as dumb as I look. Come on. Uh, that one's right here. Yeah. All right, last phase. Just don't get hit. And he's glitching out again. Weird. I don't know why he keeps glitching. Maybe a certain spot on the board causes him to do that. Alright, we can roll a one or a three here. Just do not roll a two. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna save my super, actually. Oh, I am so stupid. I thought I could only parry stuff once. The cards don't disappear. Oh, so I'm gonna use my super. What am I doing? I'm gonna keep gaining super from that. Wow, I have been making this boss battle so much harder on myself. Got him. Got him. I cannot believe how stupid I am. That I did not realize that you could parry the cards multiple times in a row. Because most other things in this game, when you parry them, they go away. Oh, ridiculous. Five minutes. What did we get? Hey, we got a B. All right. Well, King Dice is done for. There's only one thing left to do. Let's change our loadout. We're going back to the pea shooter. Charge shot I do not like for the devil. 
Let's go say hello. The devil in one hell of a time. Well, well, well. Look how far you've come. Not only did you bust up my good-for-nothing lackey, King Dice, but I see you've got my soul contracts, as agreed. Hand them over and join my team. I mean, the devil seems pretty on the level. We have all the contracts, so... Here you go. You're mine now. And we're gonna have a hell of a time down here. Oh no! He turned Cuphead and Mugman into demons! Well, well, that's quite the ending. Well, thanks everybody for joining me on this adventure through Inkwell Isle. Kind of a, kind of a morbid ending there, but you know, that's what you get when you deal with the devil. So just remember, stay tuned to the channel for more Let's Plays coming up. And I'm going to see you all next time. Wait a minute. You didn't think we were going to give up that easy, did you? We're the ones that collect the souls around here. We're not going to let the devil get away with taking ours, too. So we're going to give the devil his due. Next time. <laughs>